say that the topic is very relevant that the tri-city that is in Noida, Greater Noida and Jumna Expressway Authority, three cities put together create good abundant infrastructure which is available for industry, individuals and society as not. But still <coughs> we are here to discuss about the advantages that Tri-City has. <coughs> that clearly shows that there is a gap and that's why we are here to discuss about those gaps and to come up with the uh, ideas, recommendations or, or food for thought as to how those, what are those gaps <coughs> and how those gaps can be filled in to promote and position the Tri-City in the front of the country and the world. As Dr. Shalwan has just said that we have to create a number of jobs for our countrymen and for that all the measures, all the programs are to be put in place to create an ecosystem, to create an environment and to create abundance of opportunities and jobs for, for all sorts of people that we have in India. And therefore, if we have infrastructure in place, it is in fitness of thing that this infrastructure should be put to good use and should be inherited and used for the prosperity of this country. And therefore, we have to quickly identify that what are those gaps because of which the tri-city has to market itself in front of the world and the country as well. Now, I will just discuss about certain cities just to bring my point home. That let us look at Bangalore. Let us look what Bangalore has and what Tri-City does not have. Look at Bangalore. First thing, that Bangalore started with a strong background in the technical education, long, long ago. There were a large number of public sector undertakings in the, the sophisticated field of technology by the government. So there was an ecosystem in place and luckily they had good educational institutions because of their work culture too, and because of so many strategic advantages they had, they became the leader in the field of IT. During the last two decades, nowadays, they are exporting in the field of IT. I will talk about IT. I am not a journalist. So I would say that in the field of IT, the Karnataka is exporting more than one lakh right now. And is the home of more than a million technocrats of all sorts in, in Bangalore. But if you look at Bangalore, Bangalore is overcrowded, <coughs> their infrastructure is heavily loaded, the traveling is so difficult, it is becoming so polluted. So all sorts of problems and challenges they are facing right now. But still, if you look at Bangalore, they are able to create an entire ecosystem for a small industry, for innovation, and are able to become home for even financial institutions, for venture capitalists, for angel funding investors. And therefore, they continue to grow despite all sorts of problems. Now, what advantages they have? They have a good ecosystem, a legacy, an entire manpower of all sorts of experience, manpower. Despite these urban issues, they are still growing. But one advantage is they have that they are located in the capital of the state. And the, the people of the state have a lot of owners. 
if they find that the dialogue would not go to that extent, even the news distorts them, and they start asking questions. So the sense of ownership by the people of the state is one thing that is very important. And therefore, in any place, even if tri-city has to reach to that behemoth and has to market itself in, 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 in uh, that manner, then the sense of ownership, the creation of the stakeholders by all, st all stakeholders, developers, industry, government, people, they all have to work together. But let us see whether we can create that kind of stakeholders. If you look at uh, the last time the government of Karnataka was formed, a minister was appointed to look after information technology. His name is S.R. Ford. And then, most of you must be knowing the veteran IT specialist Mohan Daspey. He came into newspapers and he said that how the government of Karnataka is appointing the minister who is old. And the entire government has to come on its toes to convince the IT industry that the minister we, which we have appointed is best suited minister and he would, he would serve the industry. And this is the kind of responsiveness and sense of ownership the government had and the kind of courage that the industry has to talk to the government. What I am trying to say is that can tri city become the kind of place that Bangalore is? Absolutely, let us see at the See, Bangalore was a civilization, a city before. The tri city is amazing. Now we have to plan ourselves, we have to manage ourselves in such a manner that we can bring those elements and tenets of administration and government in, in tri city so that the people and the industries they can gain the same kind of confidence that one has to have before investing in this region. One, uh, if I look at the advantages that tri city has, Tri City has been able to market itself in certain areas. It's uh, the Yamuna Expressway that uh, mm. Formula Race, you know, Formula Race has been able to market the Tri City in a very big way. Now, abundance of housing, it is plus advantage. But at the same time, the planners and the industry has to think how we can create additional infrastructure, additional industry, or or an industry which can which can suffice which can suffice the kind of working and opportunity for those who, who buy housing in this area. So therefore, on one hand we have to develop the housing infrastructure. Other hand, we have to make concerted effort to create the industry side by side so that the people become self sufficient in the tri city. For all kinds of jobs, they should heavily depend on the in this locality itself for the law. Like if look at the land order situation, there is a perception that land order of density is not good. And we have to allay those fears. The only government cannot allay those fears. If you look at the developers, they develop good and secure colonies and infrastructure. As soon as you enter into their colonies, you find absolutely secure. But as soon as you get out of those four walls, and get out of their interest building, you find you are not as Now, being a stakeholder, the developers, the investors, they all have to work together to make sure that the roads of this tri city also become so secure for them. And for that, apart from the government, these private investors have to come forward together and make sure that this kind of security is built in place. There are a lot of technology throughout the world. People are like the same in Beijing, in other cities, too. Digit, you will find a lot of security infrastructure which uh, keeps surveillance 24 by 7 and creates sense of security in the people. Now, we have to, now at the same time, what tri city offers to the world? Do we have domain specific industry which we can market, go and market to the rest of the world? Do we have anything matching to the bio place that Singapore offers? Do we have Suppose we, we create a kind of domain specific information center, we say that okay, there is a lot of computing power that is needed for the IIT, and if we could come up with those kind of computation power along with the dedicated domain specific information and the needed capital, and then we can really market our place to the rest of the world. And as soon as we are, we are able to market, the, the, the price we will automatically grow its housing. Uh, will grow its, uh, its uh, civil infrastructure, will grow its uh, social infrastructure, will grow because what 
what is the central state of the market of energy? It cannot be housing. It cannot be sold. It has to be industry central market. And that's why this strategy has to create the domain specific facility, sector specific facility, create a segmented market approach, create brand ambition, and at the same time, apart from being distant, far distant from the capital, that is Lucknow, a seamless interaction, seamless connectivity, seamless assurance from the government has to be secured by this. Because at the same time, you have, you are benefiting because of your proximity to Delhi, because of being part of that NCR. But at the same time, this is, this goes to your disadvantage because you will be immediately compared with Delhi, where law and order situation and other things are better than you. And therefore, on one hand, you have to benefit from being in close proximity of Delhi and being part of NCR. At the same time, you have to get closer to Lucknow, closer to the decision makers, closer to the policy makers, and create a kind of forum collaborative mechanism, stakeholders, to promote this tragedy. And unless that tragedy is promoted, I'm sure that we, we cannot create those many jobs which which are required by the UP, people of UP. You know, this tragedy is the flagship and brand ambassador for the entire UP. Entire the country, UP is a country, very strong state, and right from Eastern UP, Balia, Ajamgar to to Noida and Greater Noida, you find there are a lot of domain specific industries. Can Tri City solve those problems that the brass industry has in Moradabad? Can Tri City develop resources for Kurja? Can Tri City uh, develop resources for other sector specific industry? And unless we plan in this kind of manner, unless we market Tri City in those manner, merely creation of huge infrastructure and big, big roads won't help to that extent. Of course, the growth will happen to by default and growth has to happen in any case. But if you want to set a goal and grow at that pace, then all these things are required to be done. I'm sure that uh, I would commend the uh, governance now. I thank governance now for giving me an opportunity to be with you. Another example I forgot to give you, that look, uh, another two examples if you look. Take the example of Cochin. Cochin is not the capital of Korea, but Cochin grows. Cochin grows on its own because Cochin has been a vibrating city for long, long years, thousands of years. The people of Cochin have sense of ownership. The tri city is emerging city. The people are coming and settling here. So that kind of sense of ownership has to be created in a very speedy manner, in an accelerated manner. And that means the entire State, all the stakeholders, government, educational institutions, industries, housing, developers, and all the people have to sit together and create an ecosystem, cohesive environment, society as a whole, and then as soon as we become a society, a vibrant society, we, we have a say in the governance, we have a participation in decision making, we make the industry the uh, stakeholder in the decision making. Unless we do that, we would definitely grow, we quite it. Tri City has definitely advantage over other cities because its structure is so huge, it's broad, it's horizontally spread. All these things is closer to Agra, closer to Delhi, closer to Meerut. So all these advantages will definitely drive uh, uh, Tri City to some extent. But if you have to move beyond an extent, all these measures have to put place. Thank you very much, and thank you.